Yeah. Oh, yeah. They try to put me in a box. It's impossible. Craig David. Or less. Oh, yeah. Y'all. Why is it 4 four thirty in the afternoon and I'm just getting up the day after my birthday? I literally lounged around all day because I could not get up. I cannot drink anymore. Like literally, I am a wine person. Me and alcohol do not get along. And I literally was just like feeling lazy. My best friend was like, I think you needed that. You need to just rest. Whatever. But my brother, well, my sister-in-law called me. She's like, come to dinner with us. We want to treat you to dinner since we, nobody got to see you yesterday. And I'm like, okay. Cause I kind of like did my own thing <laughs> and I spend it with my family. So I'm getting ready to meet with them in some place called Not Your Average Joe's. I never heard of this place, but oh, nobody's over there. Oh yes. So um, we'll see what kind of food this is. They really made me get out, get out the bed, and it's supposed to be there at five. And look what time it is, 4:42. But whatever, I'll be there. I'm gonna take y'all with me. Calls right now. Do you want me to take you to school tomorrow, or do you want to catch the bus? Uh, why are you gonna call me? Like, yes, I can. Do you want me to? I'm catching the bus. I can take you on your first day. I'm off this week. No, I'm gonna. Let me take you to school on your first day. No. Why? I'm gonna catch the bus. All right, I'm not talking to you. Get off my phone. Goodbye. Hi, guys. How are you? Why are you looking like that, Zay? Give, give Auntie some love. Why are y'all dressed like? Look kind. What are you gonna do with all that boat? Kind. They are just come on. We're going to the store. It's Kylie. Kylie you just got her hair done for school tomorrow. What? Huh? How are you doing, Zay? Good. 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 They want me to this spa that I ain't never been to, but they do have. Jambalaya. Mmm. And I'm just gonna imagine this place cooking like down south. Mmm. Your seafood options are nothing great. I don't know what my brother was thinking. Mm -hmm. Look at this. I might have found something I like. This rice bowl sounds good. What? Rice, mango, avocado, mushroom, cilantro, and peppers. Yes. Alright, y'all. Here's my jambalaya. I know the lighting is bad. I'm trying to get a good picture of it though. Ooh, look at that. Yo, I know I probably look so crazy. This vacation is ending up not being a good vacation. I was out last night and got a flat tire on the highway. I look crazy. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to look like something. And got a flat tire on the highway. <clears throat> so it is 8 o'clock in the morning. And I am trying to hurry up and get to the tire place without an appointment to get a rebalance. Because the guy told me last night that I need a rebalance. And a new tire. This is not how I want to spend my vacation, but I had to get it done early because I got stuff going on today. Like I told you guys, I had a surprise and I was going to bring you guys with me. Oh, and I'm inserting a picture of Kylie. Her first grade, her first day of 10th grade is today. She looks, my baby looks so cute this morning. That's it. 10th grade and a freshman of college. That's my life right now. But I'm on my way to the tire place and then to the surprise I had for you guys. But I am so mad that I even have to deal with this and I have a spare tire on. I had to wait 40 minutes last night for roadside assistance to come and I watched him. I said, you know what, from now on, I'm gonna know how to change my own tire. I'm not dealing with this. This is crazy. Isn't this cute? Look at my sister-in-law and nephew got me. Thanks, Bianca. Thanks, Paulie. You singing to me? Yay! Going. Are we going to the Eagle Stadium? You want to see the Eagles, the the uh, trophy? Yeah. And how about the locker room? Yeah. You want to go in the field? On the field. Want to go on the, on the Eagles field? Are you coming? I'm coming. You want to go? Mom, are you coming on the Eagles? Field? Yeah, she's coming too. Is that part of the plan? Yeah, give me a high are you excited? Oh, that's what I forgot. Take a picture 
What is the Eagles doing? What? What are you talking about? What are they guessing on? What are they getting on? Guessing on. Guessing on? Yeah. What does that mean? I don't know. Football. We play on Sunday at 1 o'clock. Against uh, who we're going against? We're going against the Redskins. Right, so we're here and they just gave us these stadium tour. Access pass. So we are getting ready to go. Yay. Polly. Polly, see, I'm ready. I'm ready. Everybody just keep coming in. Oops, sorry. Oh, you're fine. Just smack me. <laughs> and they have, you know, a box that they can enjoy all the games. No? <laughs> 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 Let me grab that real quick. You said that you didn't torture, right? same size. Now they're not comfortable. Not at all. Only seven of them. Five and seven of them are available. And you can just check what the ticket offers about. Okay, so yeah, this is a speech off. For a reporting crew that is the largest in the National Football League, Philadelphia is the fourth largest media market in the entire United States, and this press box houses 200 to 250 media members each game day. Now the Eagles get between 400 and 500 media requests. What I did was wrong, but it sure felt good. Everyone in the press box on game day has an assigned seat. I think they just row have like number a one hand. against the glass are the Philadelphia area beat reporters, which of course make up, as we said earlier, All right, y'all, so we be impressed. They're playing with something. They're not allowed to cheer in here, make noise. Some media outlets <laughs> send as many as five, six, seven reporters to a game to cover the wow. Philadelphia Eagles. Y'all, it's so high up. In row number one, so, oh, some players just decided to come, come out. Further down on the fourth row, you see a little area that's enclosed. The Eagles have made that a bit of a deceptive right, sense. Kid. As you wrap up in the press box, I'd like you to follow my footsteps down the broadcast hallway. They shoved a, a tripping hazard in the uh, end zone. They tried to shove an owl in there for uh, yeah. falls the trip over. after the game. Showtime. About 15 minutes after the game, the coach will come out and you know, start the press conference, give or take. He'll actually have time to kind of cool down and also collect his thoughts. So he doesn't come out here, you know, Yeah, it's by um, it's by their position. Don't step on the eagle. Oh, I thought it was Anglar, Ertz, Rogers. Hey, Here's my man. Let me get that picture. <laughs> so 
video, we are in the locker room. And Bianca doesn't want to take pictures because we tried to get her to take a picture of the Lombardi trophy. Now we gotta get back in line. But look, it's by section. So you have your wide receivers over this way. RBs over here. Defense. Come here, Paulie. Hey, Mom. So excited about when. Look, all the way down in the corner. All the way in the corner. Number 11. See it? Ooh, Carson wins. Our QB. Woo! Go ahead. Get in the picture. Turn around. Say, go, Carson. There we go. There we go. Yo, they told us don't step on this, but people don't listen. Me either. Yeah. It's in the middle of the floor. Hey, listen. You know how excited we get the players when they hit the mm -hmm. field. When they hit the field, fireworks are going, we got spoke flowers, we got all the They're going to turn the music on. They're going to turn the music on. They're going to turn the music on. Basically, we start up cracking out right here. Watch. Listen. Now, if you have your phone video, this is a great video opportunity. They'll be better at me. You thought that was spectacular. They're about to show us what the players do when they come out the locker room. Here we go. I'm not a diva. I'm not, I'm not. 